Hey guys, welcome to my Black Dragon Guide targeted towards level 3 skillers. This guide is not only for level 3 skillers, but it's focused towards level 3 skillers because it'll clear up a lot of misconceptions about blackjacking based on the combat requirements in the feud quest and a lot of other struggles that people have. Okay, so let's get started off with requirements. The first thing you have to do to start blackjacking is to complete the quest of the feud, which requires 30 thieving. And to actually start blackjacking, you're going to need at least 45 thieving. And to get the maximum XP rate on the Menophyte Thugs, you're going to need level 65 thieving. Items required are cakes in large quantities, salmon also in large quantities, a maple blackjack, and a few thousand coins to start off. With the maple blackjack, you have to make sure that it's a standard maple blackjack and not a offensive or defensive maple blackjack because those require combat stats to wield. This is the inventory setup that I use when blackjacking. You use the cakes and the salmon at different times depending on whether you get hit once or twice in a row, which I'll explain in more detail later, and you want to keep everything else to a minimum because you have a high chance of dying, and depending on your uh, situation with your player owned house, you may or may not be able to get back in time. So now we are ready to actually head over to Paul Nivnich and start blackjacking, and I'll go through the basics of what you do and how to do it more efficiently and get the best XP rates per hour. So what I would highly recommend if you've trained construction is to put your house in Polnivnic and then you can teleport to house and arrive right there and that way it makes it easy to get there and to get back if you die otherwise you may not make it back in time because the only other way to get there is to take the shanty pass carpet ride which takes a lot longer to get to so once you arrive in Polnivnic head over this direction you'll notice that the bandits are here and these are the lower level victims to blackjack now I won't be going into these in detail, but the methods are exactly the same, just a little bit less experience per hour. Now if you head a little bit more south, you'll notice the market seller right here. As you can see on the map right here, he's in the center of the city. And this is basically just a general store, but why it's so useful to you is because you can sell noted items to him and buy them back unnoted, effectively acting as a bank. Now the NPCs that you're going to be pickpocketing from level 65 all the way to level 99 are these Menophyte Thugs, which can be seen in the southern side of the city over here. You'll see with them wearing the uh, purple and the yellow clothing. So you're going to want to start off by finding a Menophyte Thug and clicking the Lure option. And this will bring you through a dialogue which ends in the Menophyte Thug following you. So as you can see I can lead him anywhere I want. and Oh, well, he's a son of a bitch. So we'll try it with a different one. You can lead him anywhere you want, and now you want to get one of these thugs into a building without any other thugs in it. So let's see if this one will leave. We can we can lead this thug into this building, and then you you have to close the door, and you have to make sure that no other thugs can see the victim, or else it won't let you pickpocket him. The basic action of efficient blackjacking involves first knocking out and then pickpocketing twice quickly before the victim wakes up. The victim cannot harm you when you pickpocket him while he is asleep, but you may fail knocking out, in which case you need to immediately click pickpocket or else the thug will go aggressive on you, attacking repeatedly until you die or run away. Once the thug has gone aggressive, you can no longer pickpocket him or knock him out. So as you can see in this clip of slow motion, you knock out, pickpocket, pickpocket again, and it wakes up. Then you knock out, pickpocket, quickly if you fail, eat salmon if you fail twice, eat cake if you fail once. If you fail the knockout, then you can immediately pickpocket and continue to blackjack if the pickpocket is successful. However, if you fail the knockout and the following pickpocket, then you'll be stunned and unable to move for approximately 5 seconds. You can eat food during this stun. So I'd like to go into a little bit more detail about eating. As you can see in this clip, I succeed the first blackjack and then I fail the knockout on the next one and immediately click pickpocket. If you fail a knockout, you must first hit pickpocket and then click your cake. If you succeed the pickpocket, you will eat a bite of cake and restore the 4 damage you were dealt. If you fail the pickpocket, you will not be able to eat for that tick but will need to eat a salmon to restore to full health. Failing the pickpocket results in 5 damage for a total of 9 damage, which is how much one salmon restores. Mastering this is very important to becoming consistent at blackjacking. 
you always need to make sure that you are at full health before beginning a knockout, or you have the chance of dying. I understand that the process of blackjacking may still seem confusing and complicated. It takes a bit of time to get the hang of, but it is the fastest method of training thieving on old school RuneScape and is worth the effort. Now you may notice that my mouse movement seems somewhat unnatural in this clip. This is because I'm using mouse keys. I'm using a custom script I created myself with a program called Auto Hotkeys. This sounds like a bot program, but I can assure you that it isn't. All it does is convert my squiggle 1 and 2 keys to two different drop downs, one for knockout and one for pickpocket, and then a third button for clicking. As you can see in this clip, after I right click, I hit the button to the left of my one key on my keyboard, which drops immediately down to the knockout option. And after I knock out, I right click, hit the one key, which drops down to the pickpocket option, and then I use the two key to click. Okay guys, so we're ready to move into the final part of the video, which is just a few quick facts and figures. At high levels, you can expect to get about 250k experience per hour if you are doing this consistently. At lower levels, it's about 180k, and it goes up from there because your fail rate decreases. So at this rate, 99 thieving will take you 60 to 70 hours, and also this method can profit up to 2.7 million GP if used to 99 thieving, just from the 60 GP per pickpocket. This is not including money spent on food, because food prices fluctuate, but you should still profit even with the food that I recommend to use in this video. So I will be posting the script for my mouse keys setup for blackjacking in the description, and in the future if you guys are interested I can make a guide on how to use auto hotkeys. It's still one click one action, which is Jagex's rule, it's just using different keys on your keyboard to perform mouse actions rather than using your mouse. It is possible to blackjack without mouse keys, but mouse keys makes it significantly easier. So guys, thanks a lot for watching, I hope this helps, and good luck with thieving. Of course, post your questions and comments below, I will respond to everything of course, and thank you very much for watching.